Pliny the Elder was a man of many talents and interests. He was a naturalist, a historian, a naval commander and a friend of the Emperor Vespasian. He wrote one of the most comprehensive works of ancient knowledge, the Natural History, which is widely considered to be the first encyclopedia ever written. It covered topics such as astronomy, geography, zoology, botany, medicine and art. He was also a witness and a victim of one of the most catastrophic events in human history, the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in AD 79. In this video, we will explore the life and death of Pliny the Elder, and the remarkable discovery of a Roman villa complex that may have been his home near Pompeii where he was stationed as the admiral of the Roman fleet. The port of Miseno where Pliny the Elder was stationed was located on the northwestern end of the Bay of Naples, a strategic location for the Roman navy. Miseno was a bustling and prosperous town with a large harbour, a lighthouse, a theatre, a temple and many villas and baths. One of these villas may have belonged to Pliny the Elder who was appointed as the prefect of the naval fleet by Emperor Vespasian in AD 77. Pliny was in charge of about 250 ships and 30,000 men, and he had the responsibility of protecting the coast from pirates and enemies. He also used his position to conduct scientific research and collect specimens for his natural history which he dedicated to Vespasian's son and successor Titus. Pliny was an avid reader and writer and he often worked late into the night. He had a large library and a staff of scribes who helped him copy and edit his books. He also had a curiosity and a passion for learning new things and he travelled extensively to observe the natural phenomena and the cultures of the Roman world. One of the places that fascinated him was Pompeii, a city that was located about 14 miles southeast of Miseno at the foot of Mount Vesuvius. Pliny visited Pompeii several times and he described some of its features and customs in his natural history. However, Pliny also warned of the dangers of living near a volcano which he called a burning mountain. He wrote that Mount Vesuvius had erupted in the past and that it had caused earthquakes and fires in the surrounding area. Pliny's words proved to be prophetic as Mount Vesuvius erupted again in AD 79 with devastating consequences for Pompeii and the neighboring towns. The eruption began on August 24 around noon, when a huge column of ash and smoke rose from the crater of the volcano, reaching a height of about 21 miles. The column was visible from hundreds of kilometers away and it cast a dark shadow over the land. Pliny was in Miseno where he saw the eruption from his villa. He was not afraid but rather curious and excited. He decided to investigate the phenomenon and he ordered a ship to take him closer to the volcano. He also received a letter from his friend Rectina, who lived near Pompeii asking for help. She and her family were trapped in their villa, surrounded by ash and flames. Pliny agreed to rescue them and he boarded another ship accompanied by some of his sailors and friends. He sailed across the bay but he encountered strong winds and waves that slowed down his progress. He also faced the danger of falling rocks and burning cinders that came from the volcano. He reached the shore near Stabii, a town that was located about 10 miles southwest of Pompeii where he met his nephew Pliny the Younger, who was a young writer and scholar. Pliny the Elder decided to stay in Stabii where he had some friends who owned villas. He hoped that the wind would change and allow him to continue his journey to Pompeii. He tried to calm and comfort his companions and he continued to observe and record the events of the eruption. He also ate and slept as if nothing unusual was happening. However, the situation worsened on August 25th around midnight when the column of ash and smoke collapsed, creating a series of pyroclastic surges, which were fast-moving currents of hot gas and volcanic material. The surges swept over Pompeii, Herculaneum and other towns, destroying everything in their path. The temperature of the surges was about 500 degrees Celsius or 932 degrees Fahrenheit, and they had a speed of about 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour. The people who were still alive in Pompeii were either crushed by the debris or suffocated by the gases. The surges also reached the coast where they engulfed the ships and the villas. Pliny the Elder was awakened by the noise and the tremors and he realized that he had to escape. He and his companions tried to reach the shore but they were too late. The surges overtook them and they fell to the ground, unable to breathe. Pliny the Elder died at the age of 56. His body was found three days later, covered by ash but intact and peaceful as if he was sleeping. Pliny the Elder's death was a great loss for the Roman world and for the history of science and literature. He left behind a legacy of knowledge and curiosity and a monumental work that influenced many generations of scholars and writers. He also left behind a mystery, where was his home in Miseno and what secrets did it contain? For many centuries, 
The location of Pliny the Elder's villa was unknown and the port of Miseno was forgotten and abandoned. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius changed the landscape and the coastline of the Bay of Naples and the sea level rose, submerging parts of the ancient town. The ruins of Miseno were buried under soil and vegetation and the memory of its glory faded away. However, in recent years, archaeologists have excavated the port of Miseno and they have made some remarkable discoveries. In early 2024, they found a Roman villa complex on the shoreline of Miseno near the modern town of Bacali. The villa was dated to the 1st century AD, and it had some features that suggested that it may have been the residence of Pliny the Elder. The villa consisted of 10 large rooms and the walls were made of opus reticulatum, a form of Roman brickwork consisting of diamond-shaped bricks of tuff referred to as cubilia. The villa had a view of the bay and the volcano and it was close to the harbour and the lighthouse. The archaeologists also found a bronze seal with the inscription, Plinio, which meant, Pliny. This seal may have belonged to Pliny the Elder as his full name was Gaius Plinius Secundus. This seal may also have belonged to his nephew Pliny the Younger who may have inherited the villa after his uncle's death. The identification of the villa as Pliny the Elder's residence is not yet confirmed but it is based on some clues and hypotheses. According to the archaeologists who discovered the villa, the complex has some features that match the descriptions of Pliny's villa in his letters and in his nephew's account of his death. However, these clues are not conclusive and there are other possible explanations for them. The villa could have belonged to another wealthy and cultured Roman who had a similar taste and lifestyle as Pliny. The seal could have been lost or stolen by someone else or it could have been a fake. Therefore, more research and excavation are needed to verify the identification of the villa as Pliny the Elders. The archaeologists hope to find more evidence such as inscriptions, statues, paintings or personal belongings that could confirm or refute their hypothesis. Before we end this video, we would like to point out that the villa discovered at Miseno should not be confused with the famous villa that Pliny owned in Tuscany which he called his villa in Tussis. This villa was located at Col Plinio near San Justino, Umbria and was also a large and elaborate estate with a rich history and architecture. Pliny often mentioned this villa in his letters to his uncle and others and described it as his favourite place for retirement and study. He also had two other villas near Lake Como which he called his comedy and tragedy villas and another one at Laurentum near the coast of Latium. Pliny was indeed a man of many villas and each of them had its own charm and significance. Nevertheless, the villa is a fascinating and valuable discovery as it shows the lifestyle and culture of the Roman elite who enjoyed the beauty and the amenities of the Bay of Naples, unaware of the looming danger of the volcano. The villa also offers a glimpse of the connection between Miseno and Pompeii, two ancient sites that share a common fate and that still fascinate and attract millions of visitors every year. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos about the ancient world. See you next time.